Oh no, I don't have much to say today. I had a bunch of classes today, but I didn't write anything down. <laughs> I don't know why, I just didn't. Um, I wore my hair down, I think probably for the first time today. I've worn it down to like elementary schools, but for the first time since the last time it was cool outside, so like April. And um, so I guess like, all the seventh graders have never seen it down before. Um, and the new teachers, too. So um, it got a couple of funny reactions. Like, a bunch of people were asking me, like, did you get a haircut? Like, they're asking me if I got my haircut. I was like, no, 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 it, it's not cut, it's just down. And they're like, oh. Most people ask the questions like, image change, image changing. Yay. Um, so they want to know if you're like changing your image because in Japan it's not uncommon actually it's more it's much more common for girls especially to wear their hair the exact same way every single day and when it's hot outside um, there's really nothing I can do with my hair besides pull it back into a ponytail or else I'll just like sweat I'm still sweating anyway like everywhere but, um, you know, once it gets cooler outside, then I don't have to do that anymore, and I can wear my hair down. And, like, I'll wear it differently every day, you know? Like, sometimes I'll just have it down with no, like, accoutrements holding up, and, you know, maybe I'll have a clip, maybe I'll have a sum of it up, or, you know, like, I wear my hair in different ways, day by day. And that is extremely uncommon in Japan. Um, so... You know, there, there are girls at school who wear pigtails every single day, or ponytail every single day, or you know, just literally every single day. No matter what day of the year, or however old they are, you know, you have ninth graders with pigtails, which is like, I think you're too old for those. But, you know, it is fine. It's just the way they do things for whatever reason. And like, for me, I'm wearing my hair differently, but... Now people are confused. <laughs> um, now that I've talked about my hair for some minutes, <laughs> I really don't have anything else to talk about. The speech contest is next Tuesday. Yes, next Tuesday. And um, then there's also a chorus contest. If you, you remember, I've, I've been to it twice already before. Um, and they make like stained glass pictures based on a song that they sing. And that That's in early November. And then, also on the 3rd, there's the YouTube meetup. With, um, other J vloggers. I think it's the 3rd of November in Shinjuku, I believe. And I will be going to that. I will be going. So if you guys are going, then I'll see you there. And maybe by then I'll have perfected a less awkward way of saying hello to people. <laughs> um, I've only ever been to one meetup before. It was the one that was like last July. So I'm really looking forward to this one because I had a lot of fun at the last one. and. Um, I plan on having a lot of fun at this one too. Um, so let me know if you're gonna go, and I'll see you there. Oh, also, I recently hit 5,000 subscribers, and I was thinking maybe I want to have a contest, but I'm struggling because I had such a hard time like ranking people when I did it for my million views. Um, I just had such a hard time like choosing people's best, uh, choosing the best story. It, it was just so hard. I'm thinking that I want to do like making a banner contest for my site because um, I obviously don't have one and I am not artistic enough to make one. A banner or an icon. But then again that I would still have to like choose a winner. That's really hard. So <laughs> if I do that then I'll probably have to like ask some people to be judges because it's hard. Or I'll just do, I'll choose a random commenter, just like choose a random number and then
choose that comment. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think I should do. <laughs> because I can't think of it. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!